Russell and Fletcher Trainum. Russell Trainum. Uh -huh. So do you remember Ed find they find them, like they track them down and they confront them. Yeah. And one of them punches Ed in the face. And I was like, whoa. But then in the very next scene, when you see Ed, his little cheek is all swollen up. And I was like, oh, is it that adorable? And so I, I, I suddenly had this idea, and I thought, you know what? If, his, if your cheek was actually puffed up like that, it would probably affect the way you talk a little bit. So I said to Colleen Clinkenbeard, I'm like, can I find that? I'm going to go, I'm going to get something. She goes, all right. So I run to the vending machine room, and I was looking for something that I could put in my mouth that could approximate the puffy cheek. Doritos, no cookies, no lifesaving. <gasps> Powdered sugar donuts. You know the ones, this big around, they fit perfectly in the cheek. I mean, I even looked like I put them in my hand. And so I, went, I ran a little package of six and I ran back into the studio and, and, I, and I said, okay, I'm ready. I'm going to these in, it's making me sound like a punch in my face and it sounds great. And she's like, all right. <laughs> so I got in the booth and I put one in. I'm like, okay, I'm ready, go ahead. And so, and I record the line as Ed with the puppy cheek and it sounds awesome. But then something happens, you guys, in a recording session. After you record a line of dialogue, the engineer shifts the line around a little bit to make sure that it matches the lip flaps. And while he's doing his job, the voice actor is doing this. <laughs> Donuts aren't meant to keep in your mouth. <laughs> They're meant to eat, to chew up and eat. And so this poor donut, which I was using as a prop, started decomposing. I can't think of a better word than just, it just dissolved, dissolving. That's not as gross. Um, <laughs> thank you. Dissolving was a better word. Um, so what? Melting is a good word. But then melting makes you think of heat. So anyway, it doesn't matter. Melting, dissolving, decomposing. <laughs> So, um, so I had this, so the thing starts just falling apart in my mouth, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh crap. <laughs> and and I, I thought, well, at least I got the line done, you know, at least we recorded the line. And I spit it out in the trash can. And, uh, and then Colleen said, what'd you do? I said, I spit that out, this is horrible. And she said, we have like three more pages. <laughs> <laughs> I took another one. <laughs> <laughs> number two went in, we recorded a few lines. <laughs> donut number three. Went through the whole little pack of donuts. And we said, so next time you see that episode, remember the donuts that were involved. <laughs> So, that's the donut story. So now people bring me donuts at conventions. I'm like, you don't really think I'm going to eat those, do you? I don't, I don't even go down the same aisle with powdered sugar donuts anymore. Glazed donuts, that's different. Yeah. What's your favorite cosplay you've ever done? Oh my gosh. Favorite cosplay, wow. My Wolverine was really good. Where's that camera? Where is it? Is it over there? You want to see Wolverine? Here, let's see if, you, let's see if we can do this. I had so much fun playing Wolverine. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find it. See, now this would be the time you would use the word melting. <laughs> um, I, I, like I said, Wolverine was fun. I love Star Wars. Anything Star Wars. Um, when they, you know, you guys, when episode two came out, I grew a beard, and I mean, I went all out. There it is. Kind of. Okay, let's see if you can see this. Okay, wait, but then there's Obi Wan. <laughs> yeah. 
yes, it's an orgasm. Major orgasm. And you know, the people in the back think there's no chance he's ever going to ask a question all the way back here. You're wrong! I love that you asked that question. Thank you. What's your name? Jason, nice to meet you. Nice to meet this guy. Um, you guys, he's referring to a, a fan, a group of fans from like a fan series that I did. Uh, how many of you guys know the video game Nuka Bray? Uh, no, it's Fallout, right? Fallout. You know Fallout? Well, some really good friends of mine in, in Los Angeles made a web series based on Fallout. And it was called Nuka Break. And I got to play like three different characters throughout the whole series. And it was so fun. Uh, we went out into the desert. And uh, you guys know about that? Yeah, it was so much fun. I played uh, a merchant. And then I played the mysterious stranger. And I mean, it was a blast. So check it out online. Look it up online. Fallout Nuka Break. I have an Edward there. Okay, I'm on my way over there. Hold on one second. Hi, sweetheart. recording three different shows. And I came out of the recording booth one day, and who's walking down the hallway but Aaron? I hadn't seen him in so long, and I just was, I'm like, brother! <laughs> and I mean, we hugged, and, and he told me what he was up to now, and I asked him if he wrecked any more cars. <laughs> he like wrecked three cars in, oh, it's his brain. He wrecked like three cars in, Three weeks, <laughs> and uh, and so um, it was so great to see him. And I know that he's working on a couple of things that I'm working on. Um, I mean, I, I don't even hardly recognize his voice um, because he's and he's like six three or something. I mean, it's truly it's like full metal. He just he just he just sprouted up. Yes, sir. Dress as the in the con in the concert. Well, that's interesting. I have some several songs from characters that I've done. Um, I mean, Ed doesn't sing, but I've certainly done Full Metal. I've done Brothers, and, and of course uh, the song that they played at the beginning um, that Tommy sings. And uh, guess what? Somebody told me that Rain has some character songs, and I already translated them into English, and I'm, I'm excited to record those. So be looking for them out there on the interweb somewhere. And, uh, and yeah, I love, I don't know about, let's see, and I sang the theme, I said I sang three of the theme songs to One Piece. Any One Piece fans you guys know? Uh, three of those songs. There was, there was, oh, well, there was like, um, uh, um, you can't stop me now, I'm always going A to Z. You know that one word with that song? Come aboard and bring along all your hopes and dreams. And then the other one was... I think back to the time when my first search began. And I on those shoulders then. So I, I did those for one piece, and then I did uh, the Dragon Ball Z Kai opening. That's not, that's not where you are now. So um, I love doing it whenever I get the chance to. You know, I mean, music uh, is, has been such a big part of my life. And, to finally get to merge, you know, music and anime, voice acting was really, really a blessing and a privilege. Yes, my dear? Um, I was wondering if you could do um, Ed's voice with you, like, say if he loves me or anything. If it's all right. The question is, is it all right with Winry? <laughs> What's your name? I know. Stand up here. I want everybody to meet you. Tell them your name. I'm... Um, okay, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no. Say hi to Lakea. Hi. <laughs> She's got the film this. <laughs> film and <in> eleven. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, I never played it, but I'm very excited. Okay. Oh, somebody else can record it? Jenny, would you record this for her? Everybody, this is Jenny. Say hi to Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Stand up. Things happen in your life eventually. They bring you to that crossroads. 